Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Castellano. And I'm Jeff Kulikowski. This week's sudden change by the CDC still under fire. The agency pressured by the Trump administration to advise against proactive coronavirus testing, including those without symptoms who've been in close contact to someone positive with the virus. And as News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan tells us, the local Republican leading the handling of the fight against the pandemic here disagrees with that policy. How they got to that position, I don't know. But I could tell you asymptomatic testing in this community has worked. At first, even the Onondaga County executive was hesitant to test everyone. This week, we are doing universal testing at the Syracuse Community Health Center, whether they're symptomatic or not symptomatic. But once he opened it up on May 11th, he never looked back. We went into all these independent living facilities, assisted living facilities, hunting down this virus before anybody else was doing this because we saw what this virus does to our seniors. And we saved lives by doing it. Every community should be doing this. This is, this is a problem until we have a vaccine. Onondaga County still plans to offer universal testing, despite the CDC advising against it, whether or not the person had contact with a confirmed case. But the county executive is worried about who will pay for it. You just want to go get a COVID test. What CDC is potentially setting up is giving the insurance companies cover not to, not to allow that to be covered. So you go get it. You still do it, but then you get a bill for 150, 299 bucks in the mail two months later. Just to test teachers this month, it will cost $100,000 of money the county doesn't have. The county executive is asking the federal government to pay to test anyone who wants it if it doesn't want their insurance companies to do so. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. The county executive believes the CDC's change will not affect proactive testing at nursing homes or before an elective surgery, but will affect people tested at his testing locations.